Have you ever wondered how theme parks get the roller coaster trains actually on and off the tracks? When you think about the word roller coaster, you simply envision a coaster traversing the track layout. But how does it actually get there? Let's take Icon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. This is a Mac Rides launch coaster in which riders are arranged two by two with a total of 16 riders per train. Icon, on an average or quiet day, will operate two trains at one time. Usually one train is in the station being loaded and unloaded with riders getting ready to launch, whilst another train is completing the layout and entering the final brake run. But what about when it's busy in the parks? Well, Icon actually has a third train that can operate when the crowds are larger in order to manage and reduce the queue times. Whilst I visited Blackpool Pleasure Beach, there was a fault with one of the trains right when I was about to board, so I got a very rare and cool experience in being able to watch the team remove the faulty train from the track so that the ride could reopen. And this is how they do it. The spare train was located in storage and this section is referred to as the maintenance bay. Icon actually has enough storage space for two trains in the maintenance bay and the third would typically be sat on the tracks in the loading area. To get a train on or off the main running track, something called a transfer track is needed. You can see Icon's transfer track right here and this allows the ride operators to add and remove trains from the running track in literally a matter of minutes. This is the cool part. You see this section right here? Well, this is where you would usually exit the ride and where you would place all your personal belongings whilst experiencing Icon. This entire exit platform moves, including all of the storage lockers. There is actually a false wall behind the lockers and this allows the exit platform to move backwards, revealing a massive space behind the running track, which is where the spare train trains are kept. Surprisingly, this procedure only requires just two ride operators to perform as it's mostly automated. As you can see from this video, the exit section moves back until it has came to a complete stop in front of the maintenance bay. The transfer track then connects to a separate track in the maintenance bay and the train is then allowed to roll off the transfer track and roll into the bay. Once the transfer track is empty and the train is successfully in storage, the platform moves again, returning to its original position back in the loading bay. As I only witnessed a train being removed from operation, the track remains remained empty when it returned. However, if they wanted to add a train to operation, then the exact same procedures would be completed, but this time with the transfer track holding the new train upon return. Obviously, this exact method and procedure won't be the same for every single roller coaster out there. This was just a specific look at Icon of Blackpool Pleasure Beach, and other roller coasters may operate different methods to add and remove their trains. I thought this was such a cool experience to witness. To be honest, I think I was the only happy person in the queue line as everyone else was upset that they had to wait an extra 10 minutes, but for me, I got to witness something not many people have seen before. Let me know in the comments if you have ever seen a roller coaster train being added or removed from the tracks, or if you have any cool roller coaster stories in general. Thanks for watching, and if you did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing as it really helps our channel. If you have any ideas for future videos, feel free to let me know in the comments as well. And remember, keep smiling.